Anyone got any questions? That's the route. Everyone got the route? Nice and easy. Greetings to the video. So, first ride out since uh, Grand Canaria, and I thought, well, I'm in Wales, and I thought it's going to be freezing, so I had like thick base layer on. And then the tourists are off, the sun came out, and now I'm actually really sweating. So, this is a really nice welcome riding outside back in the UK. So we're doing like an 85k loop and I'm going to do a climb. I've never done before but I've not done that one before. These, I was laughing at these in shorts earlier and now I'm regretting it because I'm so sweaty. I'm like 20k. Are you filming you or filming that? I'm filming you, Sven. Come on, darling. Get on camera. It's not, it's not publishable. I am being so spoilt today. This is my first ride outside since I've been back. And look at the weather. So I'm in Wales. It is just glorious. It's sunny. It's warm. The roads are nice. We see all the mountains. Like this is just so so nice. I'm out here with Rafa, um, and I wanted to share something because I'm trying something out today. So I don't know if you've seen Garmin have released their latest head units, which is the Edge 540 and the Edge 840. The solar versions of each. Um, just very briefly, because I'm going to do another video like looking at the two of them, so you can decide if either of what what you are after. Um, just very briefly, they've got solar on them, so they've got up to 32 hours battery life um, in like demanding you. So if you've got like you know the map screen on and you've got loads of sensors connected, um, or up to 60 in battery saver mode. So that's the main thing. And um, they've also both got multiband GNSS, which is just like an amazing GPS. It's super accurate. So if you're under like trees or you're going off road, it's really accurate for that. Um, and there's loads of new training features on there. But the main thing that I absolutely like, I love this. This is, this is my favorite thing that Garmin do ever is Climb Pro and Climb Pro on these units. And it's going to be updated on the 1040 as well. Is Climb Pro anywhere? Climb Pro, if you don't know, is basically a way of when you um, incorporate a route onto your Garmin, it would then pick up where the climbs were. And when you were riding along, it would then show you the distance, the elevation, the grade, all colour coded so that you were, so you can basically pace it so you know where the climbs are, you know where the hard bits are going to be. For me, it was incredible. Like, it's honestly the best thing I think Garmin have ever done. But you used to be able to have to do that and put a route in, which was fine. I always put routes in anyway. So on these new units though, they have included it anywhere. So you don't have to incorporate a route. You can just be riding along. And today I'm testing it out. Um, I'll show you a little bit later on how it works, but so far, I can't even tell you how impressed I am. I thought, oh, I'll just try it. I'm sure it'll be good. It is so, so, so accurate. I am completely blown away. I don't know how they've done it, but it is phenomenal. So I'll show you when we're riding, um, yeah, how it actually works. Because today, normally, like it's a club ride, I normally put the route in. I haven't today. Um, because I wanted to test it out and see like how good it is and what a better place to test it than in hilly Wales. Go and catch up with others, get a brew and then we'll head off. Yeah, as it compared because, to California? Yeah, it's on a par. <laughs> <laughs> right, off to Conway, more climbing. Oh sh**! Oh. Oh, <laughs> that finishing school. Wind up. Oh, yeah. All right. Hey, all. Hey, all. Garmin saying 120 meters to the top of the climb. That's how accurate it is. That's where they've all stopped. Top of the climb. <laughs> Climb complete. That actually worked a lot better than I expected it to. That was like spot on, like accurate. Oh, it's so nice. <laughs> Tubeless fail. 
Wales. <laughs> Where's the plug? I'm going for like Steve. Oh, Come yeah. on. Under pressure. Oh, he's oh, made it worse. <laughs> Spin it. <laughs> Turn it round. <laughs> right, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> we just stopped a few times and now we're going in a tube. No, we've got to wait for you. We've got to watch you suffer doing it. And when he was cutting the end of the plug off, it, <laughs> instead of cutting the plug, he cut his finger. <laughs> Keith, you look so act off. <laughs> this is the exact thing that I was on about in my gravel like video. You need to have COT, you need to have plugs. And he ain't got any of them. I've got plugs. Just well, you just didn't use none of them. But he wants to use his special one. Is <laughs> that this one going to cry? It was pretty much bang on accurate. What? How beautiful is that? We just came around the corner and I was like, can we can Is it Conway or Conway? Conway Castle. It is incredible. Have you seen that? Look at it. The castle. Oh, yeah. It is so impressive. Oh, I love, I love castle buildings like that. Which way do we go now? It's all right. Right, this is the climb that I've been waiting to do. This is the great hall. Woo! Honestly, I said I was being spoiled early, but this is like another level being spoiled by views. Rocks one side and just see the other. Wow, wow. Oh my god, I can't even believe how good this is! I always say this, this is like a running phrase in my videos, but wait till you see the view. You ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Rock. This is uh, Alex. This is the great arm. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, is it great? Dumb stuff. Oh, it's the same arm, eh? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I've fucking rolled over him before. <laughs> 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 I'm going to swap him with someone at lunchtime, so I'll be yeah, on right. your guard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> This is all wonder real of how good this is. So Jimmy that had the uh, tubeless issue earlier on, we've just come past uh, two women on bikes and the pedal had come off and like, oh, we need a spanner. So we've stopped. Jimmy saved the day. I think he's paying his, uh, his dues back, uh, helping with mechanicals. <laughs> this has been such a good day. I don't want it to end. Beach patrol. Yeah, a bit further along when I was in uni. <laughs> yeah. Look at you two, lady. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Oh god, actually, I was laughing at you lying down, but actually, I think I'm going to lie down. <laughs> it's actually it's really, yeah, yeah. it's lovely and warm. <laughs> the reason why seals lay on stones, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you calling us seals? I'm a walrus or something. Oh, oh, oh! Cheers. So you play Whoa. boiler, you boiler brakes or could get me around. All seven nine four. Where are they plumbing? You can't see it, but there's like two horses, obviously with riders on, but just running across the beach. <laughs> oh, look how pretty this view is. We have been sat here all afternoon after we've got back from the ride, and for this to be my first ride back after being in Gran Canaria for so long, it's been. 10 out of 10. The weather has been amazing. The route was just so, so good. And the climbs were just oh, so, so nice. Also, also talking about uh, climbs, the Climb Pro like everywhere, just honestly, it worked pretty much flawlessly. And, and I really wanted to test it because this is the first day that I'm actually testing it out. So I wanted it to be like a real world feel of what it was like. I didn't want to do it somewhere where I knew the climbs. Um, so to have it, somewhere that I've never been before 
it worked so so well and to be able to pace to be able to know what was kind of coming where the steep sections were is phenomenal i don't know how they've actually done it um but yeah there's so much data like in the actual garmin unit because one i was mentioning it to one of my friends today and it's like oh is it because it's connected to your phone i was like no 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 it's all in the actual unit itself which I think is amazing. If you think how many maps you can get in a Garmin and they're just, all the climb data is within the actual unit. Um, and it was really good, like as you were riding along, you could actually see like different climbs, like appearing and popping up different places. So it's constantly scanning for different climbs. And yeah, the data was so, so good. So if you are someone that wants to know the climbs that are coming because this is the thing i feel like there's two types of people and two types of riders there's some people that just really don't care like how long a ride's going to be they don't really care where the climbs are i'm not that person i want to know like how long it's going to be where the climbs are like if you've ever ridden with me all my friends all um account for this i'd be like where's the climb how steep is it like what how do you compare it to like say this climb just because i like to know what's coming how to pace myself for it and having this I think it's just taken, I, I mean, my friends will be pretty happy because if we ever go on a route that I don't have the actual route for, I'm always like, where are the climbs? So now I know what's coming. So they'll be very happy that I'm not like in their ear, like asking them where the climbs are. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I'll leave a link below to the actual units if you wanna go and have a look. I will be doing a more in-depth review of the two new ones. But I'll leave the route below, um, a link to my Strava, go and have a look at that. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video.